Hey folks, Will Brink here, www.brinkzone.com. Uh, you know, a topic I was going to cover today is genetics. Uh, a question or floats around constantly uh, that you hear for years, of course, is what role does genetics play in our ability to uh, gain muscle or lose fat or, you know, perform in some way that we want to perform? Uh, and the answer to that question is, Genetics are everything, honestly, at the end of the day, un unfortunately, because of course it's the one thing we have no control over, uh, or as I think Arnold has been attributed to saying, but I don't know who really said it, which was uh, pick the right parents if you want to have great genetics for whatever it is you want to do. Um, the problem with the saying genetics is that it's a really an amorphous term. I mean, what does this mean, genetics? Genetics is a, 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 a term for a a huge uh, body of, of possibilities, of research, uh, of unknowns. When we say so-and-so has superior genetics for gaining muscle or whatever, we don't even know what that means. For example, is, does he have naturally higher levels of uh, IGF-1 or testosterone? Does he have a greater density of, of uh, receptors on muscle cells? Does he digest and absorb and utilize nutrients better than the average person? Uh, does he have a resistance to uh, myostatin? It, it goes on and on and on, none of which is currently really known. Uh, the research in this area, looking at genetic differences between you know one person and another, a high-level bodybuilder or something, uh, is, uh, is, pretty, is pretty all over the place. Uh, some differences are found, but again, they're not even consistent. And so there really is you, you, nothing you can point at to say that's the genetic differences between this guy and that guy or this girl and that guy. So understand, bottom line, genetics play the major role at the end of the day as to how we respond to external stimuli, training, nutrition, diet, uh, environment, whatever. Uh, and of course, it, it is the main controller of how we uh, respond internally. And unfortunately, again, it is as uh, as has been referred to the ghost in the machine. That is, uh, you, you have nothing you can control yet. Uh, I can tell you that uh, obviously genetic uh, manipulation uh, is something that uh, will take place uh, probably in the not too distant future in sports and other areas. Uh, the science of nutrigenomics is an ongoing, and nutrigenomics is basically how the foods that we eat, uh, nutrients, you know, micronutrients, what have you, affect our genetics and vice versa, and uh, I do some writing about that on the Brink Zone. That's a very interesting area of research that will be ongoing, but uh, if you have any questions as to, you know, is genetics a, a major player and why this guy looks like that and, and I don't, whatever, whatever, yes, it is, the, uh, it is the number one factor, I would actually say, and unfortunately, again, it's a factor you have very little control over. Uh, I recall, uh, for example, Victor Richards uh, told me he was something like 220 or 240 before he ever touched a weight. Um, and his mother, I think he, he told me, was, was unusually muscular to, uh, too. So, you know, that's how it goes. So that's my talk on genetics for the day. Uh, if you enjoyed this information, please hit the uh, like buttons and Twitter it and all that. And I uh, hope to see you all on the Brink Zone. Now, for more information on this topic, head on over to www.brinkzone.com where you'll find my blog, more videos, free reports on fat loss, muscle building, supplementation, fitness, health and longevity, as well as a ton of free articles and my free weekly newsletter. And I'll see you all on the Brink Zone.